Okay, how are we doing guys? Now, I just want to refer back um, to something that happened a couple of days ago with one of my uploads. I uploaded a video two days ago, or three days ago now, and it was a Grand War gameplay, it was on Team Deathmatch, and it was a pretty damn good game, and I've done it as a live commentary, because um, I haven't done a live coming quite some time, and the funny thing is, a couple of people were saying that it hadn't come up in their, in their inbox, in their uh, YouTube feed. Now, this is happening quite regularly, and I'm... <laughs> I'm almost going to go on a, I'm going to go, no, I'm not going to go on a rant, but I just want to talk about it. You see, YouTube at the moment is going through some maintenance, or so I'm led to believe. And I don't quite understand exactly where they're going. You see, I'm, I'm from this theory of, if it ain't broke, then just don't fix it. Leave it as it is. If there's nothing needs tweaking or touching, then just, just let it be. And for some reason, they, they seem to be trying to improve on so many areas that I think they're actually buggering up their whole system in general. Uh, you know... I don't know how many of you guys have ever seen when you've tried doing something and it says, oh, something went wrong. Don't worry, our team of highly trained monkeys are on this case. And it's like, wow, Treyarch have officially taken over YouTube, yes. You see, I've said before in one of my videos that there seems to be a problem with my subscriber list that I'm losing so many subs a day. And the evidence I have on this is from my Gmails. Now, if you go into your Google Gmail, it tells you all the things that are going on on your channel, from your from your subscriptions to, you know, informing you of people who you subscribe to who, who have actually uploaded videos. And one thing I've noticed is when I'm actually counting down how many subs I get a day, compared to how many I actually have, proves that I'm losing, as I've said before, sometimes between 30 a day, which is quite a lot. That's quite a considerable amount. Now, that's not the only issue. The other issue I have is obviously they're not showing people videos when I'm uploading them which is getting people quite frustrated, and it's getting me frustrated. And another thing as well, and this is a real major bummer for me, is that... <laughs> bummer. Jesus, I haven't used that expression in quite some time. This is a real bugbear for me. YouTube on the iPhone used to be quite accessible. I used to click on the Google app, it would come up, and it would come up with my YouTube page, and I could watch videos, I could like videos, I could comment, I could answer people's comments in response. They then took that option away for you to be able to answer people's responses. Oh, sorry, answer people's comments and things like that. So that was a bit of a shame. So you had to kind of go into your Safari and go through the Google and go into your desktop and and it's all very slow and laggy and awkward and with bloody big hands like mine, you're hitting the wrong buttons and things like that. So that's that's quite annoying. Now they've actually done it so that instead of being the nice handy app that we all know and love on, on the iPhone, it's now just a desktop. So automatically when you click on it, it goes straight to a desktop. Now that makes me laugh because... The whole idea behind the whole new YouTube layout, if you remember, used to have the... When you used to click on somebody's home channel, it used to come up with all the graphics and all the art and design that used to cover their entire channel. Now, actually, what happens, obviously, since... When was it now? I think it was about July or June or something like that. They changed the layout, so you've just got the one kind of box at the top, and then everything else is full of bits of information. The reason they did that, the one main reason, so that when people click on their mobiles and it comes up, you can see people's channel art. That was that was the main reason why they did it, I think. But now that's vetoed. So it's like, well, okay, so does that mean you're going to go back to the old style? Because I've got to be honest, I preferred the old YouTube layer. I loved it. I loved seeing the real artistic kind of integrity that people used to have and put into their channels. It was brilliant. And I used to love mine. I love mine now, but if I could incorporate the, old, the new one into my old style, Jesus, I'd be so happy. So yeah, YouTube at the moment fundamentally is kind of buggered up. So what I really wanted to say is I'm going to I'm going to go down a couple of avenues to improve on this. But the first one is you can kind of help yourself. If you're not following me on Twitter, then follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. Well, the link's down on my channel somewhere. Click on it and follow me because I notice a hell of a lot of people aren't following me. If you follow me, you will not miss an upload. You know, I'm not one of these people who are massively active on Twitter. I don't do much on there, apart from give David Van Der Haar an absolute barrage of abuse. But <laughs> that's a whole other story. But I do tend to try and keep, you know, maintaining my, my kind of feeds and watching other people's videos and things like that. So if you're not following me on Twitter, follow me already. The other thing I wanted to think about doing was getting one of these, like, mobile app things. You know, you put a link in, it's like, get a get a message every time I upload. I'm thinking about doing that, so I'm going to be looking into that. So maybe it might be in the description if I've figured it out by the time I've uploaded this commentary, or if not, it'd be in the next one. So just let me know what you think about that. But the other thing as well that they've done, I can't even post a video response to myself. I used to do video responses and people would send me video responses. I think they've actually took that away. And it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you changing everything? I don't understand. YouTube was fine, and you are messing it up, people. 
Look in the dictionary, messed up, and there'll be a picture of bloody David Vonderhaar there. That's the whole, <laughs> that's the whole example you need of totally hashing something up. So yeah, like I say, guys, if you're not catching some of my uploads, I do apologise. It's nothing to do with me. I'm trying my absolute best, and I notice it with other people as well. It's not just me. It's a lot of other people, and YouTube's rendering their videos in bloody 240 and things like that, which isn't good enough. You know, people put a lot of effort into their videos, and for YouTube to totally bollocks it up is is unacceptable, really. So. Going back guys, just follow me on Twitter, you'll see everything I'm uploading, and uh, thank you very much for being patient. Apocalypse done. Big win, job done.